welcome to the video lectures on technical c by shravan kumar mantri coming to the question number 8 so reversing an array here we can see printing in reverse order reversing the elements in an array reversing only first half so what is the difference here so if you consider this array printing in reverse order means only to print the last element first like this that means 80 90 60 40 20 20 like this you need to print here the thing is the original array a will be as it is here we are not changing the array we are just printing in reverse order that is the first one printing in reverse order reversing the elements in an array that means you have to reverse it that means a of 0 should consist the last element that is 80 a of 1 should consist this one 90 a of 2 should consist this one this one this is 60 so like this you need to arrange so this is we call it as reversing the elements that is the main difference in in the question a and b in a array will be as it is only you are printing reverse whereas in b question you are reversing the elements in an array if you print the array it has to print whatever the reverse of an array now the third one reversing only first half so if i divide into two parts this is the half first three elements only i want to reverse this so that means the resultant should be like this so 30 20 40 means 40 20 30 <laughs> it should be printed as it is 60 90 80 this should be our resultant array so like this you have three questions which are with respect to reversing of an array so we'll see all these three questions with explanation coming to the first one printing reverse order we'll see what how to reverse and how to make it in reverse order we'll take an array here okay and we'll take the variables i and n and is used for the size number of elements and whereas i use used for uh, to scan each element in an array so for i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus so you can see here i equals 0 i less than n i plus plus so like this you can consider then scan f where you want to scan each element in an array now how to print in reverse order what is the logic that you need to follow so very simple what is the logic to be followed is i will take first the last element to be printed next the last what one so here you can observe what is the index of the last element if i take if i take six elements let us suppose n is equals to 6 so what is the position of the last element definitely n minus 1 why because it starts from the index 0 to n minus 1. so first i will have to print n minus 1 next i have to print n minus 2 next i have to print n minus 3 till 0 so this is the logic that i'll follow so you can observe here the logic so the reverse order is for i equals to what is i initial value n minus 1 let us suppose if i take n equals to 6 i value will become 5 that means what is there in a of 5 first i'll print then a of 4 then a of 3 like this till up to 0 so here i greater than or equals to 0 till the index 0 you need to print you can observe here and it should be the decrement operator every time you are decrementing the i value so you can see just printing the value i equals to n minus 1 that means n value if you take 6 a of 5 will be printed next i value decremented to 4 that means a of 4 will be printed next a of 3 next a of 2 a of 1 till a of 0 so this is the first one that is printing in reverse order here you can observe even if you print what is this array a of if i starts from 0 i less than n i plus plus if you print the array you will get the original array not the reversed now coming to the next one that is reversing the elements in an array so this is a logic to be followed here you can observe till this everything is same till this if you compare with this that means this is a scanning of the number of elements here what are those elements to be scanned now after reversing what happens you can observe so how to reverse what is the logic that i'll follow i'll show you with a example so reversing means 30 should go here 80 should come here is it right like this 20 should go here 90 should come here. 40 should go here and 60 should come here now is there any need to go for the next no that means if there are six elements only 
three swappings I am di I am doing. So this is a logic that means if I have n number of elements, n by two swappings are enough for us to make it in reverse. So that is the logic I'll follow here. That means a of zero I'll take will be swapped with a of n minus one. A of one will be swapped with a of n minus two. That means if i value is zero, j should start from n minus one. I should be incremented, j should be decremented. And I'll make it swap till i is less than n by two. Is it right? So this is a process I'll follow. Now if you observe here, you can see for i equals to zero, j equals to n minus one. Remember here only comma not the semicolon. These two are initializations. Then semicolon this is a condition i less than n by 2 here 2 that is one is increment another one is decrement so here also comma now you can observe i value is 0 initially j value is n minus 1 if you take in our example 6 minus 1 5 so temp is a variable i have taken temp equals to a of i a of i equals to a of j a of j equals temp if you use this the values will be changed you can observe temp equals to a of i what is the value 30 let us suppose a of i is equals to a of j l a of j let us suppose 80 so a of j equals to temp what is there 30 so previously a of i we have 30 a of j has 80 now after this you can see a of i is 80 a of j is 30 so this is we know that general swapping with temporary variable so like this it should be done after this i is incremented so i value will become 1 j is decremented so j value will become 4 in our example so a of 1 a of 4 will be swapped like this till n by 2 you can do this is a process and if you take odd array also not a problem then also it will be applicable so after doing this now you can observe i'm printing the array you can see what happens the values will be printed in reverse order in an array see if you observe here in this example if you print the array if you see the array i starts from zero if you see the array the array will be the same like original after this execution also if you print the array the original array will be printed but here after this after this process if you print the original array you will get the reverse array the elements which are reversed that is the main difference here printing reverse order and reversing the elements in an array so this is a logic to be followed now coming to the th third one reversing only first half what you need to do here instead of taking that means only first half that means instead of taking n number of elements i have to take n my i mean uh, n by two elements that means your j value should be half only so this is a logic here you can observe so i starts from 0 j should starts from n by 2 minus 1 so why n by 2 minus 1 let us suppose there are 6 elements 6 by 2 minus 1 so 6 by 2 minus 1 which is 3 so first 3 elements that means 0 index 1 index 2 index only these 3 i'll swap is it right totally 6 elements means first 3 elements so like this this has to be swapped and i less than their half n by 2 here again half of this n by 4 can i say yes so i plus plus and j minus minus and here you can see i equals 0 j value will become 2 so 0 2 will be swapped like this and 1 will be as it is anyway so if you have more than let us suppose if i take 10 elements so half is 5 now so it should start from 0 to 4 so 0 4 will be swapped next 1 3 will be swapped 2 will be as it is the index 2 will be as it is so this is what happens in the concept of reversing only first half let us suppose if i ask you only to reverse the second half of the elements what you need to do in this example j will be as it is i should start from n by 2 plus 1 you need to remember i should start from n by 2 plus 1 and you can observe of course the remaining things are same so this is what we need to apply when the question that means question is changed according to the question you need to answer so this is about how to 
reverse the elements in an array we'll see the next question in the next video lecture thank you